Well, good morning again from Ed's Orchids. Uh, a bit of a mishmash for you today. I've, I remember when I showed you two big plants. One was a Kingianum, and the other was a a Sologian, uh, res, Pleurus Alice. Uh, I've chopped them both up into pieces. So uh, I'll show you that. That's why I call it a bit of a mishmash. One or two flowers there as well. So I uh, hope you enjoy it. Well, I've just pulled this uh, Pleurothalis uh, restropoides out of its pot. It's just getting too massive now. I'm going to have to do something with it. It's only had two flowers on in the last, what, six or seven years? So I'm going to have to uh, rub it down. I've taken it out of its pot. Look at the roots and the growth. Hundreds of them. So I'm going to have to uh, Strip it down, take all this off, and I'll show you when I've uh, when I've taken all the uh, old compost off. Well, I've taken as, as much rubbish off it as I can. I'm afraid that is just solid root, and uh, they look like they're all living as well. I mean, it's a hell of a weight this plant. It must weigh. Oh, I can just pick it up, man. It must weigh 12 or 14 pounds. But what am I going to do with it? I don't know. Hello, little snail there. Get that out of the way. I think what I'll do, I'll cut the cakes off and uh, see if that. Uh, inspires it and uh, I'll repot it. I won't split it. I'll repot it and I won't feed it any nitrogen and see what happens. Well I think I've removed most of the cakes now and uh, believe it or not there's 47 there. What the earth am I going to do with them? Hmm? Oh I wish some of you lived near here you could take them away with you. Okay I'll see what I can do unless I Let's I pop them up in fives or tens just to see what happens. Yeah, I might do that. Okay. Well, I've repotted all the cakes up and whether they'll do all right or not. What I've done, there's a lot of uh, separate plants there, you know, with just one leaf on. But they've all got roots on. So I've wrapped some, uh, some live moss around the roots and planted them all up. So uh, we'll just see how they go on. They'll probably, they'll probably be okay. They've just come in handy for the auction in uh, October and November. Really got well. I've really got to decide what to do with this. I have absolutely no idea up to now. I either split it in twos or threes or fours or whatever, or I get a big pot and I put it back in one pot and see what happens. I think my, that might be the uh, the end product of it. But I can't keep all of it anymore. It's that bloody heavy. Okay, I'll. See if I can find a big pot. And while we're on the subject of orchids, we'll just have a look at this, uh, what's it called, Cherry Nostel Sulfuria. It's uh, just started to come into new growth. Let's see if I can show you. Can you see down here? All the new growth there. And down here. Plenty of new growth on this one. So, I don't know much about the flowering on these, so uh, we'll see what happens. This is a Sologeny uh, Memoria William Michaelitz. And what you can see now is all the new growth for this year. Because I've cut all the old growth off. It was getting a bit untidy. So uh, that's all new growth, so all the leaves are nice, so uh, I don't know what's going to happen to this. I've had to string it up and pull it pull it together like I did with the cat layers. So uh, trying to get it growing up right. But uh, yeah, it's all new growth, so it's not doing bad. It's got some nice roots on it. So we'll see what happens to that one. Well, I've split the king of and I'm up and uh, I've made them into uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight pots, so uh, I'll take them to an auction somewhere and show them on eBay and, and get rid of them. I don't quite like them, 
but uh, somebody will. Now these are the, the uh, compressor speciosa, where they've got six plants of these and they've all got spikes on. The one there, got the buds on, and there's one in flower, if I could get to it. Beautiful they are, beautiful colour. Here we are somewhere, there we are. Compressor speciosa, beautiful thing. So it's a little long spike. Yeah, but very nice. Oh, and there is what I meant to show you before, isn't it? The uh, bulbophyllum that uh, come out with four flowers on. Strange flowers, but uh, some people like them. Oh, I nearly missed this one. It was hung up in the other greenhouse. And this is uh, Dendrorium chrysotoxum. Beautiful. First time it's ever had three spikes on it. And the flowers are absolutely gorgeous. So if I can just get you a little close up of the flowers. There they are. Beautiful. That's Dendrobium chrysotoxum. Well that's about all, just a nice little short video for you today. A few things going on, a few things might turn out, things, things might go worse, but uh, never mind, we do try, don't we? Anyhow, thanks for watching everybody and until next time, I'll see you later. Bye. Well that's about all, just a nice little short video for you today. A few things going on, a few things might turn out, things, things might go worse, but uh, never mind, we do try, don't we? Anyhow, thanks for watching everybody, and until next time, I'll see you later. Bye.